my channel if you're new here my name is Janice and today's video is going to be a grocery haul I spent $327 at Martin's well some people might know it's a giant food store um, I'm not really a fan of Walmart anymore <laughs> I don't know why but um, this is for one and a half weeks because I have to go back and purchase meat for the following week so yeah I don't, I don't so let's get started over here i picked up some chicken breast filet rob wants uh, melanessa and i am lazy and this was 6.43 and then the pack of chicken breast that's not cut was like 13 dollars. so i was like uh spend the extra three dollars just to get um it already filleted so because i don't if you don't know i don't like cutting up chicken i hate touching chicken so the less i have to do with it so much better so um i'm gonna be making melanessas for rob either monday or tuesday um i will be doing a uh what's for dinner series on this channel so stay tuned for that that's part of the new year um so i i cook monday through Thursday and Friday's yo-yo and Rob is responsible for Saturday and Sunday. So, um, so he's responsible for getting his own meat, which he does. He goes to the Spanish market and gets it and gets his own meat for Saturdays and Sunday. So I probably will do like a little, a mini little haul of that and drop it somewhere. I don't know, but that's that. And then Oh my gosh, guys, look at the price for this. This is chicken thigh, and it's it has the skin and bone and everything. It's not even like it's the fillet, and it was eight dollars. These used to be like three something, but the price went up on this. I'm gonna be doing curry chicken um, next week one day next week, and I will be recording that because one of my girlfriends wants to learn how to make lazy curry which is just basically curry chicken. And I got some wings. These were $12 a pie. And usually two packs feed our family of seven. So I will cut this part off, cut this part in half, and um, this will feed our family with leftover for Rob to take to work. And also for me to have lunch at home. So we don't eat this entire thing by ourselves in one sitting, but it's nice because the kids can have seconds if I make both packs. So I usually do this in the air fryer. I will show you guys that as well because I'm loving Rob's new air fryer. It's not mine. And then I will be making oxtail. Um, I don't know if it's going to be part of next week because i'm tempted to make this right now for rob and they were so expensive oxtail is so expensive and we're family of seven so uh, i had to buy three packs i was cringing because this is like 30 something dollars worth of oxtail and i was cringing when i was doing it but i was like it's a treat you know it's not something we eat every day boom chicka pop sweet and salty kettle corn I love this thing. I've already dug into it. So good. Probably should move it away from the open chicken. Not open chicken, but away from the chicken. We have uh, sharp cheddar. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but cheese is always welcome around here. We have two things of mixed vegetable. No salt. I'm trying to cut down on the sodium intake that I feed my family. We have some vegetarian baked beans. I got two of those. Then we got some um, pasta sauce. And this is the brand that I'm loving now. So this is the three cheese. I'm Jamaican, so tree, tree, three. They all sound the same. Tomato, garlic, and um, onion. I just got two because I don't want them, you know, pack up my pantry if I'm not going to use it. Cream of chicken. I love these because you know me and my crack pot. 
So I got two of those. And then I also got a cream of mush uh cream of mushroom soup. What? Wait a minute. Oh, what is this? Is this is this the same thing? I don't cream of mushroom. Is this soup? Or is it supposed to be? I don't know. Probably grabbed the wrong thing. And then I got kidney beans. So this guy in the store, he was like, You want beans in your rice? And I'm looking at him like, you mean rice and peas? But I was just so tempted to say, are you Jamaican? Because only Jamaicans do beans and rice. Like, But you so afraid to ask your little girl if you want rice and peas? Well, beans and rice. Uh, <laughs> so I got kidney beans. And I could tell he was Jamaican because he was talking about Milo and all that. I was like, yep, you Jamaican. But you know when people out with their girlfriends, you don't want to be over here talking before they come and smack you. You trying to take my man? <laughs> Black beans. I got four of those because, you know, Rob loves his beans. Um, four black beans. So, one, two, three. Um, where's the other one? I could swear I got four black beans. Yep. Four black beans. I got unsweetened coconut milk. I don't know. Like, I don't know if coconut milk is supposed to be sweetened. But it says unsweetened coconut milk. I need it for my rice and peas. Um, I got mixed vegetable. No salt added. Did I say that? I sure enough did. Oh, yeah. Two of those. And then I got sliced white potatoes for my curry chicken. Um, no salt added again. And I got two of those. So I just buy what I need in canned goods. I don't stack up on canned food. Um, there's no need for that right now. <sighs> My favorite is um, Unsweet Black Cold Brew and Smooth Coffee. I love this for, you know, when I don't feel like making coffee. Um, sweet and spicy for my wings. And then where are we in the madness right now? We have sour cream. I don't know. I don't have a recipe that requires it, but Rob loves sour cream on his on his rice. Where they do that at, I don't know. Um, got ready whip for my coffee. I love when I when I'm trying to be fancy. I love to put this on top of my coffee. When only when I'm trying to be fancy, you know what I mean. Um, picked up caramel macchiato. I was looking for. Let me show y'all. My fridge might be dirty. Don't judge me. I was looking for this one. Um, this tastes so good. But unfortunately, I didn't see it. So I just grabbed my favorite caramel. Um, we have Parmesan cheese shredded. This was in the refrigerator section. I think this was a little bit more pricier. I don't know what's the difference. Comment down below and let me know what's the difference between the refrigerated one and the one that's just sitting on the shelf it, you know on the regular aisle i got some gatorade zero so i got different flavors these are rob's go-to thing for lunches i got creamy peanut butter and chunky peanut butter these are my staple snack um and also miss destiny um is the P the Irvis snaps? This is white cheddar, Parmesan, Parmesan roasted garlic, black pepper, and this is new. I'm not really sure if I like it. I tried it. It's a sweet and spicy mango chili lime. I mean, I'll eat it. Um, another thing of coconut milk prune because you know we need to go on a regular basis so yeah this helps you go eat one a day pop one a day you will be very regular um we got some distilled white vinegar because i feel like i'm gonna be doing some escovish in the near future not right now not today but i need to have it on hand like yes if you jamaican or if you're any kind of cook, you need to have distilled vinegar. Use it to wash your chicken, to clean all your meat. You can even use this for cleaning, but I have my own. I have vinegar that I clean with that says cleaning vinegar. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is. Got some pepper strips. 
And these are my favorite. These are the Keto Series Enlightened. One gram net carb, no sugar added. This is the bomb. I love that one. This is the peanut butter chocolate chip. Yes, I've never tried this one. This is mint chocolate chip. And then this is my favorite right here. Maddie loves these too. It's the marshmallow peanut butter. Yes. In a second. We have milk, banana, um, Sestino's pizza roll. This is the cheese. We have some grapes. Um, we have mandarin orange, two bags. We have a bunch of, well, not a bunch, just four unripe um, avocado. My favorite, if you've never tried this, please go out and get you some. The bomb, they only have three bags. Trust me, if they had more, I would have grabbed all of them. You should have seen me trying to get the last one in the back, all the way in the freezer. Just like this man was staring at me like he wanted to help. But at the end, in the end, I, you know, eventually got my, my onion ring to come forward. And I was looking at him. I'm like, I got this, buddy. I got it. All right? So, love, love, love these. The bomb. The bomb. Um, got some corn dog. This is the honey corn. Corn dogs. Jesus. This is the honey crunch. Crunchy. Um, 16 count. This is the chicken. And <clears throat> that's for Miss Maddie. Even though she's going to take off. The bread, the batter part, and just eat the hot dog. But I didn't get her any hot dog miracle, so this is the only thing I got her. Hot dog. I need to go back out and get her some. We have um, Reese's Puff. I have two. And then um, Trix, because, you know, a little indulgence sometimes is good. We have coleslaw. We got two bags. We have a ton of strawberry, because this is my Madison's favorite strawberry. She loves strawberries. Got her some more. Excuse me. So when I'm done, I'm going to go cut these up and put in a little bowl for her. And that's her little snack. She loves strawberries. I got pepper jot because you guys know I love to snack on cheese. I eat cheese all day, every day. So I just got this because it's already cut. And I don't have to be sitting here, you know, biting on big chunks of cheese. And then I got this one to try out. This is the Vermont Extra Sharp White Cheddar Cheese. Um, so, if I like these, they were $2.99 a piece, which I, why I only grab two because that's kind of pricey, if you ask me. Um, we got butter because Miss Dustin is into baking these days, and we, <laughs> she stay using up all the butter. So, I got two packs for her. I got this to try out. This is the Veggie Veggie. Ash browns, cauliflower, and broccoli. We shall see how that goes because I've never tried it. We have vegetable oil. Rob always say, have you ever seen vegetable make oil? I don't know. He said something. Whatever. We have two and a half dozen white eggs. Large. And I got two packs. Beef broth. What's the difference between beef broth and beef stock? Couldn't, couldn't figure it out. Beef broth and beef stock. Is there a difference? Comment down below and let your girl know because I'll be sitting in the grocery store like, which one should I get? Should I get stock or broth? Stock or broth? One old lady came across me one day. She was like, it's the same thing. I was like, okay, but I really want to know what's the difference. So I got cooking stock chicken and then bone broth chicken because i use this in my curry chicken to make gravy it's the bomb diggity duck home it's better than water this is why i got the 35 percent less sodium so it's no salty i got some original syrup for pancake heavy whipping cream and then i got some hungry jack complete over that stuff and oh, guys i found it ginger lime sparkling ice oh i wish i had more space in my cart to clear out all everything that was sitting on the shelf like give it to me but i did leave 
I did leave behind a whole bunch, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back and get it because I couldn't find them for the longest time. These taste just like Jamaican, Jamaican ginger beer, like Jamaican, is it ginger beer? It tastes just like it and it has no carbs, no sugar, nothing. It's just sparkling ice, zero sugar. Oh my gosh, I already dug into one. It's just, it's it's the bomb. It's the bomb. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to do a time lapse of me putting away all this grocery. So enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Ain't nobody like you. Talking by yourself and you make me smile. I can listen all night long. I tell you about the time when I first met you. Listen to a favorite song. Walking on the street when you caught my eyes. Something about the way you move. No, that ain't no. to be yours Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue